Comet C2022 E3 continues to get brighter and now shows a large bright coma as well as an ion tail and a fainter dust tail. As the comet gets close to the sun, the sunlight heats up the surface of the comet which causes the frozen ice and gas to sublimate or turn into a gas. This creates a large diffuse coma around the nucleus of the comet. The pressure of sunlight pushes away the coma which creates the dust tail of the comet and the solar wind carries away the charged gas in the comet's nucleus which creates the ion tail of the comet. Both tails generally point away from the sun but because they are affected differently by the sun they can point in different directions. The green color of the coma comes from either cyanogen gas or diatomic carbon being ionized by the sun's UV radiation. Although the coma of the comet can be millions of kilometers across, the actual comet is fairly small, about the size of a mountain between 10 and 20 kilometers across. I imaged the comet from my backyard this past week and I got this footage. For anybody wanting to image the comet, please see my last video for settings and how to find the comet. I also traveled out to a darker site to look at the comet visually through my binoculars and a telescope. It wasn't visible to the naked eye yet, but I could see it in my 10x42 binoculars and it looked a little bit like this. And with my 8-inch Dobsonian, it looked a bit like this. The green color wasn't visible to the eye, but it showed up easily in images that I had taken. And I plan to image the comet again this coming weekend and I will keep you all updated. I also plan to live stream my view of the comet through one of my larger scopes for anyone who can't see it from their location, either because they live in a big city with lots of light pollution or because it's not quite bright enough to see without any equipment and they don't have binoculars or a telescope. So be sure to check that out and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I set up my live stream. And as always, clear skies.